guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another Will I Buy It video. Usually I don't do these weekly, but I feel like July has been like the craziest month and so many new palettes and makeup have been coming out. I feel like I need to talk about it, you know? It's just fun to put all my thoughts out there and talk to you guys. I get so much feedback from these Will I Buy It videos. They're so popular just on YouTube in general and it's just on my channel, so I really appreciate you guys taking the time to hear my opinion on these things because I mean really and I'm just a teeny tiny channel and it just makes my day so I just wanted to talk to you guys in case you don't follow Samantha March she actually did create a community will I buy playlist on her channel now she has about 50 to 60 thousand subscribers so she's got a way bigger fan base I guess you could call it um, but if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I will link it down in the cards. And she basically, you know, let content creators know, hey, if you make Will I Buy It videos, please reach out to me and I will send you the link to add videos to this Will I Buy It community playlist. So I was able to get in touch with her and she sent me the link. So some of my videos will show up on there too, which is cool. But everyone that makes Will I Buy It videos or like purchase or pass or yes or no videos, those are all going to be in that community playlist if the creators, you know, found out about it. So definitely if you make these videos or if you're interested in them, if you're like nosy like me and try to watch as many of them as you can, go ahead and check out that playlist. There's so many great people on there and I don't know, I feel kind of like a little bit of a cool person for being on there. Um, but thank you, Samantha. That was so wonderful. I don't even think she knows who I am, guys. But I'm just going to go ahead and thank her anyway. And if you guys don't know this, I always link Sam's channel in my description box. It's on there for like, will I buy it? I mean, she deserves credit for that. So even though I don't mention it in every video, she is the reason. I do my version of this or I mean, it's inspired by her Will I Buy It series. So sorry about the long intro. We have a lot to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up Trend Mood. I also do cite Trend Mood in my description box as well. In case you guys are wondering like where I get this information from, it's Trend Mood. Anyone that loves makeup is following Trend Mood on Instagram. So that is that. Okay, guys. So the first thing I'm seeing on Trend Mood here is it looks like BH Cosmetics is going to maybe be doing a sister version or like a baby sister version of the Zodiac palette, which is exciting. I really like the Zodiac palette by Juvia's Place, so it'll be fun. Even if they make a mini version of it, I think that would be such a hit because let's be real, we would all rather have less eyeshadow for a lesser price than pay for these big giant palettes that we're never going to get through. This palette is pretty reasonable already, but it'll be interesting to see what they'll come out with. I feel like they kind of started the whole Zodiac thing recently. I mean, there's probably some palette out there that was Zodiac themed that I don't know about. <laughs> but I feel like this was kind of the start of the Zodiac themed palettes and now it's just like exploding everywhere. You guys know Wet n Wild did a Zodiac collection and of course this is the big news. Uh, Kathleen Lights is collabing with Colourpop again and she is doing a whole Zodiac themed palette. Now I did watch the reveal video of that collaboration and it was interesting. I do like the palette. Is it like mind-blowing? Not really. Definitely the two standout shades are those two blue shades at the end. I feel like for the most part everything else is very repetitive of Colourpop and I recently filmed a video like showing you guys all of my Colourpop eyeshadow palettes and I realized how similar a lot of them are. I feel like Colourpop's a little bit sneaky because they price things so well and they create things with so much buzz. It's like you don't really realize how similar they are because nobody really sits and goes through their entire collection of Colourpop shadows every time they decide they're going to buy another palette. So since I've done that and looking at this one now, I was like, oh, it's pretty. You know, I like the idea. I like the concept. I like the packaging. But do I really need this palette? Probably not. Will I get this palette? Yeah, I probably might because, again, I do collect the ColourPop shadows. So I'm excited to, you know, kind of just add to my collection and not, you know, not add to my collection. So the Zodiac eyeshadow palette is going to be $18 because they added a mirror so they needed to be $2 more. It was weird when I was watching her pat, like her reveal video because she said so many things that didn't really make a lot of sense. She's like, oh, so many of you ask 
for a mirror in a palette and I don't really understand that because if you're traveling you're usually in a situation where there is a bathroom usually with a mirror and I don't know anyone that's like squinting in a little palette trying to do their makeup. I actually have a little mirror that I take traveling with me that has you know lights in it so I can see what I'm doing or it's you know not a big deal so I don't really think mirrors are a must-have in palettes but I know some people have different preferences so let me know what you guys think like is that really true for majority of you in the makeup community because to me I feel like that's a crock like I would rather have a less expensive palette than have a mirror in a palette and then they're doing two luxe lipsticks those are seven dollars each I'm going to be passing on those. I really don't need any more bullet lipsticks. They're also doing two Super Shock highlighters. They're $8 each. I don't really like the Super Shock formula anymore. I used to be a huge fan and have a bunch of stuff from Super Shock line, but I feel like I'm more of a powder girl, so I'll be skipping those. And then they're doing two Supernova shadows. Those are $7 each. There is a gold and a pink gold in Champagne. I think those are pretty, but again, the Supernova shadows aren't my favorite formula of liquid eyeshadows, so I'm going to be passing on those. You can also buy the huge PR box, which I honestly don't recommend doing. I know it seems like so beautiful when you see a PR box, but at the end of the day, who keeps like a PR box like long term? Like, are you really going to store all that stuff in the PR box? No, you're going to take it out of the PR box, and then you need to find more space to keep your PR box in. So personally, I would say just avoid the PR box unless you can save money, then buy the PR box, but otherwise you don't need it. Ofra just launched a new highlighter palette. It's called the All Glowed Up Palette and there's four highlighters for $49. There's a full size of the Beverly Hills highlighter, Star Island in a mini, Rodeo Drive, and Blissful. All three of those are minis. Now I have one of the Ofra highlighters, I think, and I bought it when they were on super sale on the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty. I know Ofra makes wonderful highlighters. I don't want to discourage anyone from trying the Ofra brand, but personally, I feel like at this point, we all have our favorite highlighters. Like, I don't know why brands keep coming out with highlighting palettes. It's just, ugh, it's so obnoxious. At least this one though, you can pop out the shades, which I think is nice. So if you wanted to like mix it and match it with some other stuff, you could at least do that. But oh my gosh, I just, I can't even. Now this palette I've already purchased. It's the Juvia's Place A Freak palette. Oh my gosh, I was so excited when they launched it because they kind of sneak peeked it. And I was like, okay, well, when is it coming out? Let me like remember to write it down so I can buy this palette when it launches. And then it actually launched the same day, which I thought was really cool. I actually got the palette on Friday. So yeah, I'm excited to test it out. Let, let me know if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on that. Looks like Kylie Cosmetics is restocking their Momager collection and honestly the packaging on this one was uber tempting. I heard a lot of people say that on, you know, YouTube and Kylie is not like a very well loved brand I would say on YouTube as far as brands go. So it was interesting to hear that a lot of people kind of liked it because it was kind of different and I felt like the way she like themed it, it was very true to Kris Jenner's personality. So yeah, that was interesting and I still won't buy anything from it, but just so you guys know, it'll be back in stock on July 24th at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, in case any of you care. Okay, so Kat Von D's kind of on a weird roll and she is doing the Alchemist Mini. So these are sh single shades which look more like metallic and sparkly. So I believe basically these are similar shades from her Alchemist palette, which I believe was discontinued because it was limited edition and now you can buy them in singles. I'm personally not into colorful highlighters so I will be skipping that but I know a lot of people are into colorful highlighters so it'll be fun to see what you guys think of those when they come out. So Huda Beauty is coming out with a matte perfection primer. I'm not really into primers so I won't be buying these primers. They will be available July 20th and they say they are lightweight, oil-free, reduce shine, make your makeup melt proof, and all this stuff. So sounds like there's some pretty big claims. I actually really like the Huda foundation, but I've been itching to try the Tatcha primer that everyone's raving about. I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, so definitely let me know what you guys think about it. I know my friend Nisha talks about it a lot. She said she really liked it, and it's supposed to have a blurring effect, which I'm really curious about. 
but it's a $52 primer, so I haven't decided whether I'm gonna buy it or not. Taiwandi also decided to come out with a lash liner. It's $20 and it's called Trooper, which is her favorite, like her black eyeliner that everyone loves, but this is for your lash line. And it's also a liquid, which I think is interesting. I was tempted to try it, but honestly, I have so much eyeliner right now, I don't need this. I think it's so funny because I've seen a lot of people use liquid liner in their waterline, just like the felt tips that you usually do wing liner with. And I feel like that might just be because, you know, some people just have different skill levels. And I personally prefer a pencil in my waterline, but I think it's a cool concept because I'm sure it'll give you like a nice smudgy look in your lower lash line if that's something you're interested in. Too Faced 20 year anniversary collection is gonna be coming out on what day is it coming out? August 2nd on their website and then Sephora will be August 3rd and they have a bunch of stuff so they have 10 throwback metallic sparkle lipsticks for $22 each. I have no interest in those. Packaging is really cute but I do not like metallic lipsticks. Then and now eyeshadow palette which is $59 which basically means it is 60 bucks inspired by original 10 Too Faced eyeshadow shades and is it just 10 shades in that palette? I swear there was more. Okay so there's 10 of the ones from 20 years ago and then 10 of the new ones I think. So that'll be interesting and then they're going to do a better than birthday sex mascara for $24 which is their iconic best selling mascara. I have to say, you guys, I actually really don't like the Better Than Sex mascara. I even rebought it during the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty because I was so curious and I still didn't like it. So, yeah, I don't really want anything from that collection. I know a lot of people are excited for it, but it's not for me. So, more sneak peeks MAC Cosmetics is bringing some more glow for summer 2018. Looks like, looks like they're coming out with some Dazzle highlighters. They're doing some Dazzle shadow liquid, so they're coming out with their own version of liquid eyeshadows, which has been a huge trend. Those are all set to release around August 2nd. I personally plan on not buying any of it. I haven't bought MAC in a while. It's not like I don't like MAC as a brand. It's just I feel like at one point I was really into them and I was buying a lot of their stuff, but now I'm kind of over them, so that's okay. There's just more room for other stuff. Jue is starting to hint about, I think it's their concealers that are coming July 24th. I have not tried their full coverage foundation. I was really curious about it. Again, Jue is another brand that I used to really buy a lot of stuff from, kind of pay attention to, but recently fallen off the wagon. So if you guys have tried their foundation, I'd be curious to hear about it, but it's not something I'm planning on buying. They finally told us when the Jaclyn Hill palettes are coming to Morphe, and these will be available August 14th. So, kind of exciting. Oh, and it says plus Ulta Beauty. So, could it possibly be that these palettes will come to Ulta Beauty? They're $15 each and $49 in a set. I still don't like the brand Morphe. I just wanted to talk about this because in case you guys were interested, it might be something you want to pick up and I want to let you know when it's available. I did recently whip out the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe, like the original, and I must say I did actually really enjoy using it. I used some of the blues in there to dupe out the shades in the Violet Voss palette, those blue shades in the Violet Voss Flamingo palette, and they were great. It was, it's been a while since I used that palette and I really, really did enjoy it. But yeah, if I can get it at Ulta, I'll probably be a little bit happier just because if it's a shitty palette, I can return it. With Morphe, you can't, so that's kind of an issue for me. You guys get excited. Oh, yep, it says on Turn Mood that update will also be available Ulta Beauty on August 14th, so if you have some Ulta points, you might want to save those up and check that out. Now on BH Cosmetics, they are coming out with liquid linen, liquid lipsticks. There are 10 shades for $7 a piece. These look really fun. I just don't need any lipsticks. Like I know I made a video recently called Reasons Why I Can't Go On A No Buy, but really when it comes to liquid lipsticks, lipsticks, foundations, primers, like those are things I have so much of. I don't need to buy any more. So it's like my unofficial official no buy, things I'm not buying, liquid lipsticks. <laughs> Okay, Estee Lauder is coming out with some new highlighters. They're re-promoting Heat Wave, and they're coming out with a shade called Solar Crush and Mirage. I actually really like Heat Wave, so the other two shades are very, very tempting, but I'm going to try my best to resist because I don't need it. The crayon case is coming out with a new product. It's called the Highlighter Concealer, and it's a liquid formula in 20 shades, including color characters. In case you guys aren't familiar with the brand, the Crayon Case, they have a very, like, a very, like, school supply themed brand. Like, they have 
like these weird things that look like glue sticks and everything looks like crayons and school supply related stuff so this packaging is really sucking me in but I don't want to purchase from them they are an indie brand I've heard not so great things about their customer service and honestly I have so much makeup I don't need any reasons to buy anymore so I will be passing on that Beige Cosmetics is also launching some bronzers these are three shades for ten dollars each and will be available July 25th at 2 p.m. on their website now this is really really interesting I don't know if these shades will be dark enough for my skin tone that's always something I have to be concerned about they, they do look like they might work like that shade in the middle looks like it might work on my skin tone but I don't know I don't really need any bronzers either so I'll probably skip on that but I think it's cool that they're doing something different and like branching out into other avenues of makeup now Kim Kardashian is coming out with her summer collection this is called the classic collection the classic eyeshadow palette has seven matte eyeshadows, three metallics, and will be $44. And yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff. This will be available July 25th at a pop-up shop, online July 27th at noon Pacific Standard Time. This eyeshadow palette, I guess the name, the classic, is a good way to put it. It's definitely classic. It's very Kim Kardashian. It's very, like, boring. I do have her collab palette with Makeup by Mario, and I really want to try it out because I want to know if her formula is anything, like, worth writing home about but I haven't yet because I have so many other palettes so what I'll try and do is definitely test that out and give you guys my honest opinion on that particular palette because I feel like that'll at least give us an idea of what we can maybe expect from KKW Beauty. Now this new foundation that Beauty Blender is coming out with is a 24 hour wear $40 foundation there's 32 shades and it's a really cool idea I really like the packaging I did see some maybe controversy going around saying like oh this isn't like a lot of shades for medium skin tones but when I see the swatches on the actual models arm I mean I feel like there's a decent amount of shade range I feel like that shade 3.7 or 3.75 should work on my skin tone so I might pick this up I might not I think it's a cool concept but again I'm not really trying to buy foundation so actually I'm gonna pass on it okay available now for pre-order by beauty's shade for the astrology collection again I told you guys astrology Leo is a fire sign ruled by the Sun so they're coming out with a gold shade this is $26 and it's limited edition I know some people follow by beauty like they're following a religion <laughs> But I'm not interested, so I won't be picking it up. I'm sorry. Um, if you guys wanted to, though, definitely let me know your thoughts on By Beauty. I personally think they're a little bit overhyped. Now, this is a weekly deal. This is a Natasha Nino Tropic Eyeshadow Palette that is on sale at Sephora right now. So it'll be on sale this week, and it's $129 on sale for $75. All I can say about that is there's a reason it's on sale, and the reason is, I think, that most people that have the palette or swatch the palette in person said it's not that great. So if you guys are on a budget, I would honestly say stay away from it because I don't know. I even saw the swatches from the Sephora like Instagram where they were doing like a live because they do a live showing all the products beforehand. And the swatches that Sephora did didn't even look impressive. So I'm not expecting any miracles from this palette. Also, we haven't heard anyone talk about it since it launched. So yeah, I would say save your money guys and put it towards something else. Persona Cosmetics is about to drop their first lip product. They're doing matte liquid lipsticks and it looks cute. There's some fun colors. They're infused with avocado oil, shea butter rich in vitamin A and E and da 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 da. These will launch July 24th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I really like the packaging. It's cute. It looks like they're coming out with three shades. I won't be picking these up. They're $16 in case any of you wanted them. I really like the packaging, but other than that, there is no need for me to buy these. I have the Persona Identity Palette. I would love to, you know, give you guys a review on that at some point, but we haven't gotten around to it yet. Huda is coming out with some new lippies as well. These are the Lip Cream, and they're a perfect balance between a matte and a shine, 15 shades from soft, sultry nudes to power pinks and bold berry hues. $20 each will launch July 29th at Shop Huda Beauty, Sephora, Harrods, Selfridges, Brown Thomas, blah, 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 blah. I actually really like these shades. I have a ton of her liquid lipsticks. Where are they? They're in that little holder right there. So do I need these? Probably not. Am I curious? Yes. If they don't dry down though, that's going to be a no for me because I just can't deal with like 
eating and getting like lipstick all over the place like it's already bad enough with matte liquid lipsticks I don't want to deal with it with like a creme formula so we'll have to see what the reviews say about it I like the packaging though it's super duper cute okay so Urban Decay is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette this is like their mini palette so they have those like smoky neutral I don't even know what they're called and then they have a mini heat one this is called the aphrodisiac aphrodisiac palette why like is this this eyeshadow is not doing anything for me I feel like they did not do it a good job naming it so it's cute it's six shades but I don't need it it's it looks like a smaller version of their back talk palette and again that's one of those palettes that nobody talked about after it came out and like everyone that talked about it got it sent to them in PR and even those people I've seen them recently in declutter so I'm going to say not the greatest palette, I would definitely pass on it, but it's up there in case you guys were wondering like, hey, maybe Urban Decay should come up with a new palette. There it is for you. Cover Effects is coming out with a PowerPlay concealer. This is to go along with their PowerPlay foundation that came out. I think it's been a couple of months since that came out. I was tempted to buy it at first, but again, I need a foundation, like I need a hole in my head, so I'm going to be passing on it, but they are coming out with a crease-proof full coverage concealer in 30 shades, and this will be $30. I cannot believe how expensive concealers are getting. I feel like they're super, super expensive. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, I, I'm so used to my, like, $6, $7 ColourPop, and then I bought this guy, and this is almost $30, too. But at least you get half an ounce in here, so that's half the size of a foundation. But honestly, you should just buy foundation at that point and try and use that as concealer. So, yeah, it's a little tricky world we live in. Natasha Denona is coming out with a mini Lila palette. This is going to feature five brand new shades for $25. So she's got Poisonberry, Blue Dahlia, Raisin, Linen, and Flint, $24, exclusive to Sephora. I don't think you need this, honestly. <laughs> I just have such a hard time supporting Natasha Denona because I think her formula is beyond, like so inconsistent. And... I don't know, there's so many beauty gurus that'll get up on there and like swear by it, but I swear there's so many people that get their eyeshadows and they're like busted to pieces. Some have different expiration, you know, periods. I just don't get it. I think she has a very inconsistent formula and I think if she had the chance, it's something she should really work on. That's my two cents on Natasha Denona. I don't have a problem if you want to buy stuff from her. I have a few things from her actually like, but her eyeshadow formula is shit, so I would pass on it. Okay, so we did get a little bit of a sneak peek of the new, you know, Tutti Frutti line. There is a entire line that's going to be infused with sweet and juicy fruits, and they are doing a little eyeshadow palette. So this is like a pinky, purpley eyeshadow palette. I don't know how much they're going to price these at. I think that'll be really something I'm curious to know about because, you know, Too Faced can go up or down. So we'll have to see what they do with the price point on that. Personally, I'm not interested in this pink and purple theme. I just got the Ace Beauté Blossom palette, and I think that's going to keep me happy for quite some time. Okay, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this brand called Sample Beauty, and they have some really, really colorful eyeshadow palettes. It looks like they are a brand out of the UK, and I wanted to try them out, but I feel like I have so many eyeshadow palettes, it's going to be irresponsible of me. To go ahead and purchase these right now but in case you guys are looking for a brand you should maybe check these out and see they look really cool they kind of remind me of the sephora pro palettes you know i've never heard of this brand before but i just wanted to show you guys their really cool palette and if it's something you're interested in you should check it out and let me know <laughs> you should let me know so we've now seen the entire block party palette that Super Beauty is coming out with. This palette has me a little bit confused. I like some of the shades, and then some of the shades I just know I'm never going to wear. Like, I'm obsessed with Lemonade, Drunk Love, I love Mixtape, that looks beautiful. Nachos looks beautiful, Popsicle looks beautiful, but then I don't really know if I'll wear shades like Boombox, Dancing Shoes, and like Milkshake, I don't really need because I have taco from sugar pill so it's very confusing this palette is going to be launching july 23rd for 30 us dollars and they are a canadian brand so you know you probably have to pay for shipping is what i'm going to guess but uh yeah it's just a weird palette like i get it they're trying to be really different which is really great i just don't know if i'm going to be able to use this like i don't know if i have the creative skills to use this palette i feel like somebody like angelica is going to kill this palette is going to do amazing looks, but for me, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. Cannot, cannot compute. Cannot compute. 
Okay, another thing we got a sneak peek of is a new palette that Certify is going to be coming out with. I know a lot of you love the brand Certify. I actually have their original palette. I don't even know what it's called right now. But this one is called the De Destiny palette, and it's more like smoky colors. It reminds me a little bit of the Viseart palette, the Dark Mattes palette. Um, but I like that there's like some oranges in here and purples. There's Smooch, Firestorm, um, Paranormal, Remedy. Those are shades I'm kind of drawn to. I also like that blue shade called Wrapped. So I really like Certified's layout. I like their style. I have not tested out their formula yet. So again, I can't tell you to go out and buy it because I don't know much about it. But I do think it's a cool color concept. So it'll be interesting to see what people think of that. Another brand I ran into online is this one called... Um, Mater Makeup Labs and now I haven't actually bought anything from them but I saw these swatches online and I thought this was so beautiful and it looks like they just do you know little pigments these are seven dollars a piece so again I just can't bring myself to use like spend the money right now because it's not a brand I know well um, but they seem to be followed by a lot of the indie brands that I already support so if you guys have tried it definitely let me know I'm super duper curious always keeping my eye out for new indie brands. Another indie brand that's coming out with something new is called Love Lux Beauty and they are doing a Not A Basic Bitch Duochrome collection. This launched today actually when I'm filming this, so July 21st, and they did five duochromes, three mattes, and two drenched metals, um, and this is $65, so kind of spendy. I have one palette from Love Lux Beauty. I have not used it enough yet to you know, give you guys my full opinion, but uh, very pigmented stuff, and I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talk about them. These shades are really just sucking me in. I love those colors. So if you bought this palette and you got to test it out, definitely let me know because I am uber curious to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, guys, I feel like the video is going to be hella long. I hope you did enjoy it, though. I do try to find, you know, unique things to talk about. Of course, I want to talk about things that are on trend mood because obviously those are going to be like the latest, greatest releases. But if I can find, you know, lesser known brands, I would love to shout them out and highlight them. So if you guys see anything unusual, definitely tag me on Instagram. I would love to feature brands and get them out there as well. Just do our little part to help small businesses out. So that is everything I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna go ahead and add this video onto Samantha's community playlist. So if you're on the playlist, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are just one of my regular subscribers, definitely go ahead and check out Samantha March's playlist. How cool is that? You're gonna find so many different content creators that make this exact same type of video. And if you have a day off, or maybe you're not feeling well, I'm sure binge watching some Will I Buy videos will make your day. So thank you guys for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.